Here is a comic nobody expected us to ever review. This is for issue 37, which is an almost absolutely random issue of four from the Stan Jurgensen run. This issue has Jim Starman art. He did art on one issue of four for some reason. Work for Aya or Summit. But I love this run and this issue has one of my favourite four baddies and also some heavy teasing of the major plotline slash long form story arc that begins in a few issues time on the book called The Ranging. Really good stuff. We begin with Anthony Hopkins in Fairyland. He is met by the big baby in a nappy who has come to have a chin wag with him. The big baby in a nappy has foresaw the future to come and hopes to avert it with Anthony Hopkins' help. But right now, Thor is on Earth fighting against the Destroyer Droid. Destroyer Droid is that baddie that I mentioned. My two favourite four baddies are Destro... No, wait, no. God, no. My favourite four character of all time is Amanda the Enchanter. Easy. No contest. Well, then after her, uh, it is Destroyer Droid and Gok One. Two very similar characters. Big, undefeatable tanks that four barely stands a chance with. And then Amanda the Enchanter, who is, as far as I'm concerned, of a quality that far exceeds anything else in Thor's stable of characters. Well, yeah, what's going to happen is Anthony Hopkins, he's going to die, and Thor is going to become the king of fairyland. And this is going to be bad for everyone, because he'll get skulls on his boots. Which he doesn't actually do in the ranging at all. The idea is that Thor will be corrupted by his role as king. And we sort of get to see that story play out for about 40 issues. And I loved it up to the point where they jump into the future. Maybe I like it because the most I have ever related to Thor as a character is in his decision to marry Amanda the Enchanter. But it's not about making Thor into a villain. I like the debate about religion and gods, and Thor slowly losing his touch with humanity. Uh, that's a story to come, though, because right now he's fighting the Destroyer droid, and he is getting his arse kicked. What's happened is Tom Hiddleston and a sexy witch lady, they have sent the destroyer droid after Thor. And they have also captured Thor's teenage sidekick, Thor Girl. And I definitely need to do a video all about Thor Girl and how Marvel have buried this character to try and weaponize the title of Thor to make a point about feminism or whatever well that'll also be another video because it's destroyer droid throwing a car at four that's worth the price of the comic alone uh, a lot of people forget this but the destroyer droid can actually lift up four's armor since the destroyer droid was also created by anthony hopkins's hands so that all enchantment it excludes a destroyer droid. And Thor, he's just getting smashed about like a rag doll. I didn't normally do spoilers, but this story has the best possible ending. Because what happens is, Thor, he is beaten badly. And then Amanda the Enchanter shows up to save him. That is a Thor story I can get on board with. Uh, then we have got this bad guy who was introduced in this run, Marnot or Marno. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm offering up both possible pronunciations just so that I can get the wrong one in there. Really like this design, but this is his final appearance. He is killed by this guy who is, I don't remember, 
It is a bad guy in disguise, but I didn't remember who. I would have thought Tom Hiddleston if he wasn't off banging that sexy witch lady while four girl watches. So we have got Destroyer Droid gunning on a rampage with Thor's armor. And then more hopeless fighting with Thor trying and failing to stop him. Fight fans, this is a good issue for you. We have got plenty of fighting. And the best bit is when the Destroyer Droid twats away and starts pummeling Thor's ugly ex-girlfriend, Jif. This comic has it all, really. Well, it has it all except a resolution because that is the next issue's goal. For he has been defeated and let's hope a sexy woman shows up to help him. Also, there was some stuff with a fire devil. I like it. For issue 37, or if you look closely, 539. I have got a top maths tip for you if you want to work out Thor's original numbering for this series. Just add 2 and then add 500. It only works for this series and they usually just give you the original numbering on the cover anyway. I rate this one 7 thumbs up or as it's known in the original numbering 509 thumbs up. 